is a live channel television event. So we can see you in GSSRS POS Africa, Governor of River States and the architect of the new river's vision. High Excellency Dr. Mrs. Epanibo Hari Banigo, DSSRS, Deputy Governor of River State. Ambassador Desmond Akao, Chairman, People's Democratic Party, River State. Members of the State Executive Council. Dr. Lars Richer, Managing Director, Jiraz Berger, Nigerian PLC, members of his delegation. Gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Sir Winston Churchill, said, and I quote him, healthy citizens are the greatest assets any country can have. Your Excellency, the New Rivers Vision Blueprint properly encapsulated this truism as you have gradually instituted a golden era for healthcare delivery in the state. The 132 bed modern child hospital that has 50 delivery rooms, six modular operating theaters, in vitro fertilization equipment, and other state of the art equipment that the Commission later today makes a bold statement about your resolve to leave behind the worthy legacy. Today, we are here for another historic ceremony, the signing of the contract agreement between the River State Government and Jilos Berger Nigerian PLC for the construction of the sad Dr. Peter Odeli Cancer and Cardiovascular Diseases Diagnostic and Treatment Center. This center will be equipped with the most recent diagnostic and therapeutic tools that find solutions to cancer and cardiovascular diseases in Niger Delta and the entire country. It will also put an end to medical tourism in Nigeria, attract investment and restore hope to our people. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to put pen to paper to this historic day, I'd like to invite for the River Delegation, Professor Zakios Adango, SAN, Honorable Attorney General Commissioner for Justice. <laughs> Professor Prince Uichike, Commissioner for Health, River State. <laughs> and Dr. Mrs. Ndidi Chikane Leuche, Permanent Secretary, Minister of Health. <laughs> On the side of Julius Berger, Nigerian PLC, my humbly invites Dr. Lars Richard, the Managing Director. And to follow closely, Engineer Jorgen Fischer, the Regional Manager. It is time to put pen to paper. Let's put our hands together for them, please.
Well, there you see the uh, signing of agreement uh, between River State Government and Julius Berger, or Dr. Peter Odili Cancer and Cardiovascular Diseases and Diagnostics and Treatment Center uh, that has been done now. Let's celebrate them one more time. They're making history. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I now invite Dr. Lars Richer, Managing Director, Julius Berger, Nigerian PLC, for his speech. Dr. Richer, yes. Thank you. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, Her Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State, um, ladies and gentlemen, Members of the media, um, please allow me to stand on the existing protocol. Today, the government of River State and Julius Berger Nigeria PLC has signed a contractual agreement for the construction of the Dr. Peter Odili Cancer and Cardiovascular Disease Diagnostic and Treatment Center. This is a special project, one that has the potential to elevate suffering and serve as a beacon for care for the diagnosis and treatment of chronic disease in Nigeria. A project to serve as a catalyst and inspiration for the development of reliable, high quality healthcare solutions in Nigeria. The Dr. Peter Odili Cancer and Cardiovascular Disease Diagnostic and Treatment Center has been designed specifically as a cancer treatment facility featuring advanced healthcare services such as chemotherapy and nuclear medicine with capacity to also provide treatment for cardiac diseases. The facility provides 72 beds for patient accommodation, including a dedicated ICU, CCU, patient accommodation board, critical areas for immune compromised patients, and private isolation bed awards. In addition, the facility will also feature outpatient procedure cap capacities fully equipped pathology laboratory, a fully equipped radiology department, two full theaters and one cath lab with full support infrastructure, electronic and mechanical systems and equipment. Doctors consulting rooms for inpatient and outpatient consultations, a pharmacy, as well as a coffee shop and restaurant facility for visitors and patients refreshments. The building itself has been designed using the best practice principle for hospitals and will be equipped with most modern medical diagnostic equipment. This means that in planning the facility there was a careful consideration of the patient and service flow to ensure a highly efficient and thoughtful environment ensuring hospital functions remain out of sight to patients and visitors in order to provide a quieter, calmer and more therapeutic stay and an improved recovery. The building has also been future-proofed and is extension ready to accommodate additional facilities or services for possible new advanced treatment and care in the future. The three-story building will cover a gross building area of 11,300 square meter and is to be completed over a 14 months construction period. Construction of the Dr. Peter Odili Cancer and Cardiovascular Disease Diagnostic and Treatment Center is a meaningful effort to address the gaps in radiotherapy and cancer treatment in Nigeria. The state-of-the-art and modern cancer treatment center will reduce suffering, reduce morbidity, and reduce the need for seeking of treatment abroad by improving cancer treatment in Nigeria and making River State the new medical tourism destination. We command the River State Government on their vision and foresight. They have shown a true investment in infrastructure for progress, not only in roads and flyovers, but also in the development of key building infrastructure and healthcare services to enable such progress. 
We are honored to be chosen partners for construction of this specialized hospital. I am confident and without doubt that with the strong commitment of our client and the project consultants, Julius Berger will unfailingly deliver on the project requirements on time to ensure that this specialized hospital starts to provide the healing that so many people need. And we will deliver quality of work to high standard, the Julius Berger standard. On behalf of the entire management and the board of directors of Julius Berger, I thank our client, the River State Government, especially the Executive Governor of River State, His Excellency, for choosing Julius Berger as a construction partner for this highly significant and progressive key project. Thank you. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, members of the State Executive Council, the Managing Director, Julius Berger, PLC, and members of your team, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I will vividly recollect in May 29, 2015, when I took the oath of office and the oath of allegiance as the governor of River State, I did say that whatever that would be the best for the people of the state, I will ensure that I carry it out then. Last. I also did say that River State will go out for the best and therefore that day we flagged up Operation Portal and that was done by Julius Berger, PLC. Julius Berger was not in the state after Dr. Peter Hardley's uh, tenure. It was very built the government house where we are today and thereafter left, even though they were having some maintenance contracts to keep government house going. So when we came on board, I did say that this period we are going to bring back the construction giants that will make our roads and other infrastructure to last to last long. <coughs> and so I thank Almighty God that we have come to faith that most of our infrastructure, most of our projects, which have a very high impact, is being carried out by Julius Berger and other uh, giant consortium firms like CCECC. Cetraco, Lubrix, and the rest of them. I did also say that for this project, a project of this nature, first of all, you have to identify a company that has the capacity and has the record, the track record of finishing on time and with the quality you deserve and I have no regrets uh, or no apologies to anybody that we are giving this job to Jules Berger Pius. I don't care about the blackmail by some of the Lebanese companies in the state and their agents in government who think that because most jobs are done by Jules Berger Therefore, there must be a special interest. Those are people who are so fake and so small-minded. Nothing, nothing will stop me from going out for the best. Nothing, nothing will stop me. So, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter the blackmail by those Lebanese people and their politicians and their agents they pay can make me change my mind. I will do what is best for this state. And at the end of the day, I leave with my conscience that I've done 
the best for my state if people who had conscience had brought qualified and competent firms to handle most of our infrastructure before now. Today we will not have been here. Today we have gone beyond where we are. Look at what you have built. Look at the government house. The only thing we do here is to change the bulbs, clean the areas. No, no, no major work has been done. But give it to your, 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 those your companies whom you are agents to. Uh, by now, we are talking about the different uh, thing. Yesterday, I was in the border and charge hospital. I was there myself to look at the commission today. If, if I had my way, I would not have allowed the contractors to do that job. If I had my way, I would have brought the Los Vegas to complete that job. But it's to also show people the difference. The difference. So uh, when people talk, those who don't have quality, those who don't know what life is all about, I cannot reduce myself. I live in a good environment. I live in a quality home. So I cannot go and build something that's rubbish. So I don't live in the shanties. I live in a very good environment. So if I build anything, I must build a good thing that people say yes. This is fitting because we know where he's, uh, uh, he's living. So people should be careful. Those of them, those of you who want to serve as agents of uh, these people who pay money, no contractor dares, no contractor dares to say that he will give me money. No contractor dares. And I've told everybody I'm in charge of the money of River City. I'm in charge of it. So nobody will come and give me money. And one pay you say, if I want to chop money, I know how to chop money. So nobody can, and no, no commissioner can say, no commissioner can say he has any deal with me. Because he cannot, because I'm the chief executive, I'm in charge of the resources of the river state. So why should I have any deal with somebody I've appointed? It doesn't make, uh, uh, it doesn't, doesn't make sense. So it's only people who are really bad and sick, people who, if you give them this position today, before you know it, the state is gone. The state is gone. Those all of us who served in this state knew the money we got. If we had bought uh, firms like this, it would have been a different uh, uh, history. But because we preferred to go and do, uh, 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 to go and get all these people who don't tell you to for Lebanon, and then they pay you your own, then at the end of the day, you can't talk. I can challenge any contract. If you don't do my work well, I'll challenge you. And that is where I am, so nobody should say the only people I don't talk to is all the local uh, contractors. Look at, look, go to Monarchia today. I was there. Even the, the so-called committee organizer cannot even identify what is wrong, what is there. They will just sleep in their houses this morning, they are there. Those who know what to do, who, who, who look forward, who are always proactive in their work, before you know it, they have identified problems. And, but in our own case, Nobody, everyone is only born to sleep. So, Jules Vega, I commend you. I'm always, I, I monitor you like anything. I put my pressure on you to do all you are supposed to do. Uh, the MD said over 14 months, no. The contract is 14 uh, months. It's not over 14 months. <laughs> so, let, 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 let us understand it clearly now. It's not over 14 months, it's 14 uh, months. And I, I told you that none of these projects will go beyond July, August. None of our projects will go beyond July, August next year. And Committee of Finance, as we live here, you make sure you pay them their 70 percent of the 25.9 billion uh, naira. If that won't make it some people to get mad, but it's their business. If they're mad, they can go on the road and begin to pick uh, uh, things. Because uh, on Saturday I told the government, the chairman of the government council, in structures of this nature that involves uh, purchasing and uh, procurement in terms of equipment, you cannot start paying the 30 percent. It won't work <coughs> because before the procurement is done and our inflation rate in this country, and then that will bring in variation, variation, variation. But if you pay them 70 percent, and of course with the country that with the company of rate it. 
you can go home and uh, sleep before they ask of another another money. They should be talking about almost doing 80 to 90 uh, percent, except as additional thing you as a client would want to add. But so, uh, you don't need to join us there. You don't need to join us in the flag of make sure that the money enters the account today. But one I want to remind you, the MD, I want to plead with you. Because of the enormous job you have in the state, I want you to give more manpower, engineers to give support, so that uh, you don't have one engineer taking charge of almost seven uh, sites. So you have to get more manpower to help the system and to help us achieve this at the required uh, time. I don't want anybody to commission this project. By the grace of God, I'll be alive to commission this uh, project. It's a legacy project I want to leave for my people. Whoever that comes, it is the person's uh, 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 business. So, and the person we named it after is a quality person. He's a quality person. So, and then if he's a quality person, we have a quality contractor to do the job. So, and then the manager of government is also a quality person. So, we cannot bring people who don't know their left and the right, who know the names of our politicians, know their houses, who know their Lebanese uh, contractors. So, that is what it is. So, I, I commend you. I thank you most sincerely. And then know that, yes, even though it is in the Ministry of Health, but this project will be supervised by me. Not just my office. My office means so many people. Me. And luckily, it is near my village, so <laughs> I will, uh, from time to time, make sure that I supervise this project to see that we actualize it at the time we have given to you. So. I told you, please correct the pre correct it. I will give right to over 14 months. 14 months, okay. You have signed those, so don't say that. So you cannot withdraw your signature once more on behalf of the government and people of the state. We want to sincerely thank you for the job you are doing. If we have more, if we have more funds, we'll give you more, more jobs. We'll give you more. Even if that means you to go and hire more for our people, go and hire and do more just for us. Thank you, God bless you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this historic moment. Mine now as the respectful rise for the national anthem.